Welcome to In The Box Seat on Channel 44. I'm Ray Fewings. I'm here to report on Greyhound Racing. And the big talk in Greyhound Racing for the next couple of weeks will surround the National Sprint and the National Distance Championships down there in Tassie. They're being held at a twilight meeting on August the 25th. And South Australia's representatives were finalised at Angle Park last Thursday night with Aston Thomas, the blue dog, in the care of Ray Murray, dashing out of the boxes and giving nothing else a chance. It's not the first time he's represented South Australia either. He went to New Zealand last year and uh, represented the state in the Sister Cities title over there. The staying uh, race was an absolute ripper with the champion stayer, Calden Mayhem, getting to the front mid-race and being cut down right on the line by Abdon Bale, who is a young dog who's really going places. So they'll take on the best. Of course, Miata won the Perth state final at the weekend, and she'll be the dog to beat in the distance. And as far as the uh, sprint is concerned, we've got some terrific dogs there. Fabregas, Barcia Bale, Oaks Road, all guaranteed to be there. And Aston Thomas is certainly going to be in tip-top company when he takes them on at uh, Hobart. As far as the week ahead is concerned, uh, we've got Port Augusta meeting coming up uh, on August the 18th. And it looks to be a good meeting, $750 prize money there. And of course, uh, group racing all around the nation this weekend. The Honeys have been busy, apart from the, the new computer system, which has had them all working until midnight each night. Uh, they've found uh, a few winners. And on Wednesday, they've gone for race eight, number three, Victor Pedro. Now, he had kennel cough, as most of the dogs in the kennel did have. That's when their throat gets infected and the dogs lose form pretty badly. They need a few weeks off. He's been back racing a couple of times, and the Honeys think that uh, indications are he won't be too far away from winning in the near future. They've also gone for race 11, number 7, Brahma Boy, who chased home the flying flash of passion last start at uh, Gawler over the short trip, comes to Angle Park and should be ready to win. As far as Thursday night is concerned, the Honeys have gone for race 3, number 4, Swizzle King, for the Wizard of Oz. I see he's copped another disqualification, the Wizard. He's not too popular with stewards, but Swizzle King has been racing very, very well, and uh, the girls have gone for him. And in race five, they've gone for another Murray-trained runner in number five, Proven Puzzle. He's an oldie, but he's a goodie. Don't knock the oldies. And Proven Puzzle is certainly well capable of winning at Angle Park on Thursday night. Now, the in-the-box seat team, the boys behind the cameras and the fellas that do the form and watch the videos, they've gone for Itty Bitty Bamsey on Thursday night, race six, number two. I noted her flashing home last start at Engel Park, and uh, Peter Jovanovic has had a bit of a dirty run lately. A lot of minor placings, not too many winners, and uh, he'll turn his kennel around pretty quickly. So itty bitty bamsy it is for Thursday night. Now, as far as uh, my tips are concerned, on Wednesday, I like race four, number two, Boss Man Jack. He's taken a while to hit his straps in South Australia, but he's got plenty of pace, and I think he's in the right sort of race on Wednesday. I've also gone for race nine, number five, Victor Sam. Absolutely amazed me last start when it was able to go past the very promising Emily Lover as though he was nailed to the fence. So it's obviously a dog of some potential, Victor Sam. As far as Thursday night is concerned, race five, number one, Rock Domination on an each-way chance uh, over the 600. And my other special is race six, number eight, Calden Aurora. Uh, let uh, punters down in the Nationals. She jumped well and uh, got into strife, but she's back to an ordinary race at the uh, Thursday night meeting, and she has drawn box eight. We'll find out about her and other runners from Ray Murray in just a moment. Well, in South Australian Greyhound Racing, it's well known that uh, the Murray dogs are outstanding dogs. Uh, they're top trainers. It started off with Ray, and now his son Troy is one of the leading trainers. Uh, Ray showed at the weekend, though, that he still got what it takes when he produced Aston Thomas in tip-top order to win the state final of the national sprint. And he's with us on Channel 44 tonight. Well done, Ray. Thanks very much, Ray. You've only had this dog for a while. You took him off your son. Uh, I don't know whether you pinched him or whether you inherited him, but since you've taken him over, he's really gone in tremendous fashion. Yeah, with, with Troy, he's got a lot of dogs that are always coming in and he's got to keep moving out. I just, at the right time, got him and another one at the same time and I just got rid of the other one real quick and kept this bloke. Yeah, well, uh, you've got him. The key to this dog is that he flies the boxes, and uh, he can he can motor. So whenever he gets on the lure, it's just about all over by the shouting. Yeah, he's like he's a lovely dog. He's the dog I took to New Zealand, and um, I said to Troy, I said, whenever you get sick of him, I'll take him. Mm. And uh, and that I think that was in the tr back of mind uh, of Troy in his back of his mind. Mm. And uh, when he gave me the other dog. 
that was with him, I think he was just doing that to cover for the mm. shocker he gave me with it. Yeah, fair enough. You've got to take the good with the bad. Uh, now, how's he going to go? Because you look at that lineup, Fabregas and uh, Barcia Bale, I reckon he's the best dog ever. And uh, you've got uh, uh, Glenn Gallon, you've got Oaks Road. You're in fantastic company. Oh, well, international, you always, you know, like a lot of times you don't get the best, but this no. time it looks like we have. <laughs> uh, I don't know what Hobart track's like. It's probably the only track I've never been to, and um, I don't know whether it's a leader's track or it's a strong track or whatever, but, um, like, the box draw plays a big part in all these races, and if he doesn't draw down near the inside, we might be struggling, and if Hobart don't sort of break their rules a little bit and let us trial other than Tuesday... We might be in trouble. So Yeah, I understand that uh, they told both the South Australian runners they've just got one window of opportunity to trial. They won't uh, let you go down there on a quiet day or anything like that. No, which is unusual because most, most uh, tracks we go to, like Perth and um, Melbourne, Sydney, they always give you the opportunity to, you know, you give them a ring and then they'll make a, a booking for you. Um, but they try to keep you all together. But, you know, like to make it on a, just a trial night, that well, it's a bit ordinary. Mm. You've had some wonderful dogs over the years. How does this bloke compare with the best ones you've had? Oh, like, he's probably overall speed-wise he hasn't got it, but mm. um, he's he's just brilliant early in all his sections. And, like, when you're running the 441s and the, the speed to the back and then come home in 2980, there's not many two dogs, too many dogs are going to run you down. I noticed he had a bad fall in the catching pen Thursday night. He did an absolute loop-the-loop, and he came back in with uh, track all over his back. Uh, have you been able to uh, fix him up? Yeah, like his back was out and that, which you'd expect after a fall like that. But, um, you know, finish on lure, you put up with it. And uh, until we get rid of it, well, you're just going to have to accept it. You know, your minor dogs, um, when they go around that, you know, might improve them a few times. But your good dogs, well, you know, that's that's the trouble you get with them. You must have your heart in your mouth every time they lead into the pen when there's seven of them right on their hammer uh, coming in at 100 mile an hour. Now, what about uh, Son Troy? He's training as good as ever. He missed out with Cal and Mayhem. He's been our best dog in South Australia for the last uh, 10 years. Just got touched off. Do you think Abdon Bale's a, a nice sort of a dog? Yeah, Abdon Bale's a nice dog. Um, I think Troy... Troy did the right thing and and how he prepared the dog. I, I got no doubts with that whatsoever. He was just a bit stiff to get done on the line and, and he would have been set spot on for the final. And, you know, like, yeah, we well, I've always taught him to train for the final. Don't worry about the in-betweens because if you don't make it, it's not going to matter. And if you make it, you've prepared properly. So, um, mm. yeah, he just got nutted and, you know, you got to accept that. That's the way it goes. Uh, we're tipping Keldon Aurora on uh, Thursday night. Can you give us a, a bit of a shove in her direction? Well, I haven't seen the field. I don't even know what she's drawn. Uh, drawn eight. Yeah, well, that'll suit her down to the ground, so she'll be hard to beat from there. Well, Ray, South Australia will be barracking for you, but it will be just a, a wonderful uh, thrill to be side by side with those other top dogs and those other top trainers. To be there is a great achievement. Well done. Thank you. It's, oh, it's good to be alongside them. It's good to be leading them back, though. <laughs> and uh, I just wonder if West End Brewery would be able to go over there and just drop a few cartons there for us. Well, I thought you might wean yourself onto the bogues. No, uh, well, I might have to, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Ray Murray, uh, our special guest on uh, In the Box Seat on Channel 44. Certainly going to be fantastic greyhound racing for the Nationals.